Hey there, all you awesome people. It's Kiki Pink, your girl Pink King, coming to you from my nail atelier. And this is the email couture video unboxing of the mystery kit. And for the win, you can win a box much like this one. So stay tuned till the end of the video, and I will give you the details on that. We will unbox this, and this is also Mystery Manny Monday. So every Monday, I will have a mystery box of nail stuff that I will have to use only that nail stuff to create a set with. So anyway, please, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I could really, really use the love, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And don't forget to comment and follow me over on Instagram. So, uh, hope you enjoy the video, guys, and good luck. Has he sent me nail strengthener? Let's see what color this is. Cute, that bobless guys. Goodness gracious! Little lines down on top. to the bottle where I want it. <laughs> Cute. later when I swatch it. Okay. Petite macaroon brush. Looks like this is the angled tip one. The cap. How oh, nice. Um, got some acrylic here. Very well packaged. Looks like it might be one of the pinks. I'm not sure which one. I'll have to look at it and see. We'll swatch it for sure. Another a pigment acrylic. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. This is jewels. Charms. Everything is so well packaged. Oh my goodness, I don't think I can get into this one. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna set this one to the side for a minute. Some happy gel. Another souffle gel in vanilla. A pastel ink. Cute. I can't wait to try all this stuff. And another pastel ink. I think, are these the same? No, it looks like one's a green and one's a blue. Yeah. 
my um, camera went off. <laughs> my phone went off. I didn't realize I had set it to a five minute video. Okay, so we've got Happy Gel. And we've got Happy Gel Grand Champion White. I needed this so bad. I needed a white gel so bad. And we've got a drill bit. And I've got some tips here, it looks like. Oh, yay. And these are round. I actually like these, it looks like. Here, I'll show you what these look like. Because I'm assuming not a lot of people buy round tips. But I'll show you what they look like if you're curious. Because even don't be afraid because it says round. Round is actually a pretty neat shape. If you um, ever watch Japanese gel artists, they use this shape a lot. It's what they would call a canoe tip. It's actually very good base to do um, 3D art on. Coffin and pipe, um, coffin and like those square ones, not so much because the C curve is so high. The arch is so high, the art just kind of falls to the sides. So these are very good art tips. Okay, I've got one more thing here. These are pipe. Oh my gosh, I wanted these so bad. What? No way. It's like he read my mind of all the things that I wanted and sent me that. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, how wonderful. This was such a nice mystery box, you guys. Wait, what size is this? A five? And that's not dirt on my nails. I had peel off base coat and it has a tacky layer. So everything stuck to it. And I'm about to take it off right now. But see, so you can see. Oh, I love these. I think I'm going to put these on. Well, I am because we're going to do a set with only the stuff I have here. So we've got some nails. Forgot to show you the stone. Yeah. Get them really quickly. I just realized that as I went to put everything back in the box. So let's go ahead and unwrap these really quickly. And then I'll get to swatching everything for you. So if you've never seen... Ooh, it's taking it off. Oh, well. If you've never seen Happy Gel, you'll get to see the consistency of the Souffle Gel today and the Happy Gel. And I am very happy with my Enel Couture Mystery Box. And thank you for joining me on Mystery Manny Monday. And let's get this Mystery Manny on its way. Let's show you the gel, the gems real quick. Look how pretty that is. Oh, wow. I thought it was like loose gems. But it's actually like put together like a little piece of jewelry. Isn't that beautiful? We'll have to use these in the manicure. All right, so let's go. Guys, how are you doing? So, um, I went ahead and I grabbed the pipe shape tips and I um, put some of the three in one, um, which is a nail strengthener, and also you can use it for the press and go. And this is like the red one that I got. So I use that for the nail bits underneath. However, because this is a mannequin hand, it doesn't attach. It keeps it popping up. So we're just going to slip them in there and I'll file off camera. But anyway, we're going to use the, um, not the Milky Way. We're going to use the Peachy Souffle um, Cream Gel for the nail bed. I'm going to do a, a French, a reverse French. And I'm going to use the Grand Champion White for the free edge because, and the reason I'm going to do a French is because I'm going to use the um, the pastel inks that came with the kit, which is perfect because it kind of matches the little jewels that came with the kit. So I told you guys I was only going to use what came in the kit, and so that's what I'm trying to stay true to my word. And I want every Mystery Manny Money to be like this, where I get mystery boxes or nail boxes from different colors. Companies. We're going to try them out and I'm only going to use the stuff that came in with the kit. Now, if let's say if I get like a kit with just charms in it, obviously I'm going to have to use one of the press on sets, whether it be a Prey or a Press and Go. I also am going to do a Korean Press and Go set, which is by uh, Diami. So we'll be reviewing that later on this week or next week. So be looking forward to that. So let me go ahead and put you guys up here. 
and we'll get started. Just a little tiny bit on the nail bed. So, um, and I want to make sure that I get, the, you know, the majority of it buffed off or else the gel will not adhere. So, that being said, let me just make sure I've got enough buffing up here. Because I really don't want to disturb the nail bed too much due to the fact that these are not attached. And I needed to pull them out enough to where I can get enough product on there. To where if I wanted to save the design, I could just trim the top part that doesn't have any product on. I could just trim that off and put it on my little nail board that I have in my studio for people to pick different designs. So, and I don't have any French ones up yet, so on the board, on my little frame. So I'm going to go ahead and do French on these. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to hit that with some isopropyl sterile water mix that I already paired in this bottle that I do every time for this. You get a lint free cloth. And I'm going to wipe the dust off of these so we can get started. Usually there's not too much dust with hand filing. I mean, because I'm just buffing, so it's not too bad. But it is trying to come out, so I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work too good. We'll see. I might have to push them all the way in. In fact, I think I'm going to just because I'm afraid. So I'll just push these back in all the way. Or at least some of the way. Because it's just really freaking me out. <laughs> I feel like they're going to fall out. Okay. So, let me go ahead and throw that away. And let's get right into it. So, we're going to start off with the free edge, of course. So let me grab the poly gel that we've got. And this is the Grand Champion White. I'm assuming it looks like the Grand Champion White acrylic that he has. So let's open it up and see what we've got to work with here. I really, it was really cool that like I could do an entire set with the kit. So I'm assuming whatever, whoever wins the giveaway box, their kit will be the same way. Um, you know, with like everything you need to do a complete look. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Because it says that um, whatever comes in the box is, a little box is completely random. So, but I don't know how true that is because, um, you know, I was able, it looks like I was able to do a complete set with it. So, also I have the Smile Line Petite Macaroon Brush. This is for doing um, French Smile Lines. So, there's that. I don't know if I should use it um, with poly gel. I don't know if this is synthetic or natural. This looks like a natural hairbrush, so I'm not going to use this with poly gel. I would use this with like gel polish or something like that, you know, to cut in that smile line, but definitely not with poly gel. Um, so I'm going to use um, a poly gel brush. So let me grab one of those, just a second. I'm going to use one of my McCart brushes from my rose kit since it's in the best condition. All right, and I guess we're just going to actually, you know what? I'm going to take the spatula and apply it with that because I don't want to get too much onto the nail since we are doing a French manicure. And I'm hoping it's not so cold in this room that the poly gel does not perform correctly because it is so cold here in New Orleans right now. It's like, it's 20 something degrees and that's really odd for us. Like, it just doesn't get that cold here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the rest of this on the last one, just so I don't accidentally touch it while I'm working on the first one. But I'm gonna do one nail at a time so that, um, I'll just kinda go along like that. So let me go ahead and clean my spatula off and put the top back on and I will get me some slip solution in a second and put the top on this and then grab some slip solution in my little jar Let's see which one do I want to use I guess we'll use that one I need to clean it out 
And it's very late right now, guys. And so I'm sorry that this video, the Mystery Manning Monday video is coming to you guys on a Tuesday. It was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but I was so not, still not feeling really well. So this is my slip solution mixture that I use. It is actually a mixture of monomer and isopropyl. Um, and it may even have some acetone, but I don't think so. Um, the reason that, oh my God, is that a cut? No. The reason that I use this, um, as a slip solution is because I can use odorless monomer nail light. You know how people don't like to use odorless monomer because it has an inhibition layer in it when you lay the acrylic, but this is going to have an inhibition layer anyway. So nail light is a very good slip solution guys, and there's no odor. But it's still, because monomer, to me, monomer works better with poly gel than alcohol. Alcohol, it's still very sticky, but with monomer, it truly does slip around the nail. And it just, you'll see how smooth it lays. So let me get me a um, paper towel, and we will get started on laying out these free edges. So, let's do this. Here we go. Now, let me go ahead my brush off and I'll go ahead and try to avoid sticking my hand in that other poly gel <laughs> we'll see how that goes I'm not too sure so I'm just gonna pat it like I would acrylic pat and pull and I find that it reacts like acrylic when you use monomer with it it's just it lays so much nicer it really does so to all my poly gel babes out there, nail light monomer. That's a tip for you. See how it just, it doesn't stick at all to my brush. You know, I could sit here all day and move it and it would not stick. And it just slides so elegantly across that nail. Oh, my spatula keeps wanting to pop out. I, I thought they had solved that problem with these brushes but perhaps not with the um the top wanting to come off on the spatula part did i have something on my nail i didn't know it i don't know but anyway so let's bring that free edge up because we want to bring it as high as we can and if you that's the other thing too because i find when you use alcohol it's really hard to get a very sleek nail the nail winds up very bulky because you can't push the poly gel. See how it even blends out with the monomer? That is so good. Like when I discovered this, and I don't know how I thought of it. I mean, I knew, you know, everybody knows you can use monomer with poly gel, but I've never seen a video on using nail light with poly gel because it just works great. Okay. So let's see if I want to go up some more. I guess that's about right. All right, so let me clean up these sides and make sure they're where I want them. Okay. Pull this down a little bit. And I need to pull this side up some more. I'm probably going to have to add a little more product here, it looks like. So let me go ahead and do that now. Actually, I'm going to use my other spatula so I don't have to, if I can find it. Let's see, here it is. I need to get a couple more of these. These are so helpful. So I'm going to grab another little dab of this. And I'm probably at some point, I'm probably just going to go ahead and speed this up. Probably after this nail. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing because I'm going to be doing basically the same thing for all the nails. So once I do this one, I'm going to go ahead and hit that speed up button. Of course, you can always hit your settings button in the upper right hand corner if you want to slow it down. If you need to see something in real time, um, you can do it by touching that button and it'll give you the option of how slow you want to make it. I have got these little twinkle glitters everywhere and I cannot get rid of them. I've cleaned like three times and I still keep getting them like everywhere. Little sequins. Sequins are sometimes so hard to get rid of. I don't know why. OK, 
Okay, so yeah, I needed a little more product. So it was kind of looking a little thin. When you're using white, if it starts to look a little thin, it's because you need more product. If you start to look a little gray like that, that area needs more product is what it is. So I'm gonna bring this over some. We're gonna smooth it down from the side. This side's very good already. Okay, and now I wanna clean up how deep I want this to be. So, I guess we're gonna go probably about to there. And let me clean this other side up so that we have it on both sides. It looks like one side's a little bit higher than the other, doesn't it? Let's pull this one down a little bit more. Okay, it still kind of looks off to me. I think my um, center is off on my smile line. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to bring these sides up higher. Because I like a nice, deep smile line when I'm doing them. Let's see if I can bring this one up. I don't know, because it's kind of like acting like it doesn't want to. Okay, let's see. Probably should have added more product there, but that's okay. Let me fix this again a little bit. Oopsies, I really made a mess now, didn't I? Okay. You get the point, though. You want to get your smile line nice and even in there. On both sides, I'm going to smooth down the edge. Get some more monomer. Smooth down my edge. Smooth it all the way down. All the way around the nail. Make sure there's no, your point you want to bring to the front because it's a pipe shape. So you do want your point to the front of the nail. You know, we're still gonna file it into shape and everything, but I like having less filing to do. That's my whole thing. I would rather have less filing and that way I, um, you know, can spend more time other things now I'm probably gonna hit that with some polish anyway I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and cure this let me see actually no I'm not I'm gonna have to do this one too so let me go ahead and get this one on Oopsie. I'm gonna have to put this one back in guys. It's coming out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure the first one since we've got it done and I'm gonna work on the nail bed. Let's pop that in the lamp. Clean my brush off. Put the top on for a minute. And I'm gonna put the top on this. I'm just gonna build out this first nail. And then we're going to, I'm just going to run through the rest. I'm going to speed up the video so it's not too long. So let me go ahead and put in, let's see, I need a builder gel brush. So for this, I'm going to use this one. This is actually for quick gel, but quick gel is kind of the same consistency as builder gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. McCord has some pretty good gel brushes too, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have found anyway. So I'm gonna do that for another 60. And I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and cured the free edge. Now I'm going to lay out the nail bed for that one and then I'm going to speed up the rest of the video for you guys. So I'm going to grab my souffle gel. Oops, this one is a little bit crooked. Thank God I'm actually staying in frame these days. I used to not even be able to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this off a little bit. 
All right, so let me go ahead and get some of this. I've never worked with this before, the Souffle Cream Gel. It seems to be a really beautiful consistency though. I really want to try it on my nails. <laughs> we'll have to do that another day because I'm like extremely tired tonight, so. All right, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and then I'm just gonna work it out and build my perimeter. I'm trying to see like, is it a consistency of like hard gel or is it really a true builder? It's a true builder. It's um, it's creamier than hard gel. I'll say that. So I'm trying to see if I want to just, yeah, I think I'm just going to push this into the small line I created with the, um, the free the this one so whenever you're doing um this type of design you want to make sure your product is pushed all the way into the smile line because you can clean the rest of it off let me grab some alcohol really quickly hold on one second i need to pop this monitor out over here let me put some isopropyl in another dish for my brush. Because I don't use monomer with um, builders and hard gels. I just use, you know, a brush with, you know, you don't need flip solution. Usually, well, actually with a, um, a builder gel, I'll put a slip layer. And that's kind of like what I'm doing right here is I'm putting a slip layer. And then I'm going to move around on this layer. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, this one came up a little too far. Let me try to get back in there. I've got a layer down already, so I'm gonna grab me another scoop of it. See that nice consistency? It's really nice. I hope this isn't too much. I like to um, kind of like do this motion with it to kind of apply it all over like so. Sorry guys, my eyes just did something weird. I think it's because I'm so tired. All right, so I kind of couldn't see what I was doing for a second there. It kind of scared me actually. <laughs> Thought I was gonna black out. I do get seizures sometimes, so I have to be careful. And right now, because it's so cold in here, in order to get some warmth in the room, I know you noticed I put on my big heavy sweater. But in order to get some warmth in the room, I've had to turn on all the lights in the studio, including my photography lights and everything. And of course, it's still not all the way warm, but it helped like a tiny little bit. So yeah, it's kind of rough right now. It's not really an environment you'd want to be working in with uh, nail products, because nail products do not behave in extreme temperatures. Some behave better than others, but, you know, for the most part, they all kind of misbehave when it's extremely hot or extremely cold. Let me clean up the cuticle real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this back a little bit into my cuticle area. I want to build my little parameter for my gel so that it knows that it is not allowed to go past this point. 
on the nail. And that's basically what I do my first go round. You know, my first curing, before my first curing, I build my perimeter all around the nail for my side walls and for my cuticle. That way the gel behaves and it knows it's not allowed to go past my little fence that I put up for it. And then it also lets me know how much I need to build in the middle for my apex. So, let me go ahead and do this. Don't be afraid to um, play with gels, guys. Um, even if you're like only doing acrylics and you don't think you'll ever use gel, don't be afraid to play with it because you're going to get that one client who says, Oh no, I want gel. You know, so don't be afraid to get used to it. We need to make sure that we buff up our skills on all levels. And the other thing is gel is so much fun to play with. It really is. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this, guys. And then I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's finish this nail up. I'm going to grab my souffle cream gel again. And grab me another scoop of it. I really like this stuff, guys. This stuff's awesome. <laughs> this builder is really awesome. I like it. I don't even think I need that much. I think I just need about that much, maybe. Maybe not even that much. It builds really nice. Though It levels up really nice. So then I just kind of swirly around over the top and then move it around across the nail like so within my perimeters. Now that I've got my perimeters built, I don't have to worry about, wait, this far or this far? They're already built. So, all I have to do is fill in the middle, kind of like coloring. When you're coloring in a coloring book, you know, you outline and then you color in, you know, in the lines that you created for yourself. Basically, it's the same principle. Oops, I just took off what I put on. Might need a little bit more right there because I'm trying to spread it too thin. All right, there we go. Just a little tiny bit more on this side. Okay. And then let's even it out. It's always good to look down your nail and from all angles to see if you're, you know, basically, which that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go near the edges where, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it. Actually, that one's already pretty good. I didn't even have to touch that stuff. It like blended itself. Let's see. I'm going too far with this. Yeah, this side's kind of ticking me off. It's not wanting to behave. So I'm going to leave it alone for a minute and see if it'll kind of level out. We'll see. Some builders do not move at all. They don't level at all. I do crap. I don't know if this is the if this is one of those that really has no leveling because I have never ever worked with this before so like I said I'm not afraid to you know mess with different gels even if I've never ever used them before because I know that pretty much all gels behave the same for the most part um, I mean meaning that hard gels behave like hard gels and soft gels behave like soft gels and what, what whatever you know so on and so forth but um sometimes different brands you know different brand products react different ways it looks like it's <clears throat> leveling a little bit but it looks like i need to kind of bring more on this side now so let me try to do that a little tiny bit i'm just gonna put a little bit down right here I wasn't too happy with that. Now. Okay. Oh, uh, whoopsies. I don't think I needed that much. That's why I put lots of paper towel down, guys, because I know that I'm going to wind up knocking something over or something during the video. It never fails. 
I'm going to start leaving in the bloopers because I think you guys would crack up if y'all saw, like, all the, like, I'm really clumsy. I'm not like this when I'm on a client because I don't have all these apparatuses and other stuff around me that I got to deal with. When I'm filming, I've got all this junk around me and it's like, I feel like I'm like in this tiny little confined space. So that looks pretty good because I can file it out. You know, I can smooth it out with the file. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And I will come back and I will lay out the other ones really quickly. And then I will shape them up and we will get to the design. All right, my love. So I went ahead and finished up and I buffed them and filed them off camera due to the fact that this hand is really hard to deal with when filing. So um, we're going to go ahead and put on these art inks or pastel inks, whichever they're called. Um, and I noticed, like, I don't know, I think it's just, like, things that um, are mixed with this certain chemical. Because I have some, um, if you've ever gotten that liquid latex to put around your nails, you know how it has kind of, like, a stinky odor? Um, one of these kind of smells like that, actually. I think it's the blue one. The green one smells okay. It might just be expired and like they didn't know it or something, which is a possibility too. I don't know, now it smells okay to me. Maybe it was just me. <laughs> I don't know. The other day when I had opened them, they smelled kind of strange, but maybe because I didn't shake them up good enough either. Cause I'm noticing that too. As I'm looking at the bottom, they've got a lot of, yeah. So if you get these, you really need to shake them hard. Okay, it's getting there. Good Lord. I mean, it's like all of those stuff or whatever is at the bottom and it was not mixed up at all. Okay, there we go. Now it's mixed. Let me check this one. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to tell with this one because it's so light. I think this one's mixed. I think that one wasn't mixed up good enough is what it was. Now it looks good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with these. So let's see if I can get them. Now uh, the um, acrylic is, I mean acrylic, the poly gel is not finished. So I can't remember if I need to, oh wait, wait, wait. I know what I need to do. I have to put top coat on first to make it bloom. I'm sorry you guys, I forgot. So. And actually, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to put a tiny little bit of cuticle oil and top coat because it helps it bloom a little bit. So let me get my top coat that I use when I do this, if I can find it. No, I can't. So I'm going to have to just use any top coat. So I guess I'll just use this one. I don't like to put... Um, use top coats you know my regular top coats with the cuticle oil but that's okay we'll go ahead and do it this time so i'm going to go ahead and put some gloss um top coat on it let's go ahead and cover the whole thing i suppose we are going to be i'm just going to be putting the um pastel inks on the bottom part of the nail so um you can see the oil kind of gets in there and but it actually helps it to bloom like when you get blooming gel it's um a little bit different than just regular top coat so just to keep that in mind and um, this was a little trick that i heard from somebody and you don't want to put a lot because it'll affect you know the curing of the top coat but you can put, you know, just a tiny little bit and it'll make it, it'll help it bloom. And this is if you don't have blooming gel. It's best to get the blooming gel. But I don't have any. I need to get some. I don't have any right now, so. I'm just going to do this. And this should be good. So let me go ahead and wipe that off. So I don't get any of that oil back in my bottle. Right. And none of, like, even my top gel is hard to get out of the bottle right now. Because it's so cold in this room. Like, it's ridiculous. It really is. Um, okay. 
So, here we go, we got that. All right. So, and you see that red kind of came through. I should have put a little bit more souffle on that one, but that's all right. Um, okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and try the blue first. See, oh yes, perfect. And I'm just going to put like a couple of dots here and there. Okay. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch um, the rest of the design. I'm just going to come in with um, some watercolors and some acrylic to add more depth to the already cool looking art inks. Um, but be sure and put down in the comment section so you can be entered into the giveaway to win the $100 giveaway mystery box from Enel Couture. Just like the one that I received at the beginning of this video. Um, from what I understand, it's all random what comes in the box, so that's it's a really cool thing. And be uh, on the lookout for our next giveaway um, around Easter time. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. At that is the other stipulation to entering into the giveaway. And you need to go onto Instagram and follow my Instagram page, Pink Kittens Nail Atelier. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And if you get the chance, you can come over onto Facebook at Pink Kittens Nail Atelier and check me out over there. I'd like to start a group for us, um, but that'll be something in the future. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I love you guys so much and I appreciate you guys so much. And for those of you that are just starting out in this nail journey, believe in yourself and stay strong. There's going to be times you're going to want to give up, but don't. Because creating art in any form, whether it be painting or nail art, is so important for the soul. It really is. So thanks, guys. Have a wonderful night.